Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on slamming slicing. I have already made a video on a redundant publication where we have discussed on the various components like duplicate publication, slimy slicing, plagiarism, and then here we will try to discuss more on salami slicing what exactly uh, salami slicing or salami publication or referred to so when we say salami slicing the slicing of research that would you know from one meaningful paper into several different paper is called salami publication or salami slicing so this I have uh, taken from the elsewhere fact sheets so here i found it very interesting and a kind of a comprehensive manner it has been given about salami slicing so thought of sharing with all of you and so when we are saying that uh, a salami slicing is something where you know we're just you know breaking off or segmenting the data or or let's say a single paper into multiple paper so as to have uh, you know more number of publication so people they do uh, salami publication or slicing so when when we will try to differentiate it with with uh, unlike uh, you know duplicate publication in that case when we say duplicate publication there it involves reporting the exact same data in two or more publication whereas when we are talking about salami slicing here it involves breaking up or segmenting a large study into two or more publication so this is the difference uh, that uh, we can make and these segmentations are called as slices or let's say so in that way we can differentiate among salami slicing and duplicate publication and what is uh, you know when when we talk about gen as a general rule as long as slices of a broken study share the same hypothesis population and methods this is not you know kind of a acceptable practice so um, many of you might have like thinking you know this is your own work you can break it off and go for publication but in a general rule when we talk about this uh, this is uh, you know not acceptable because uh, you are breaking off your data and publishing it um, in a you know uh, series manner let's say for a period of time so in that way uh, you know you are delaying the process of making them available to the readers uh, a bit later moreover you are occupying the researcher or or the you know reviewer or the editor um, get engaged themselves for this slices you know data to evaluate and uh, then your publication and uh, so this is kind of an unethical practice or this is not acceptable and the same slice should never be published more than once so this also need to be we need to take into consideration so breaking up the data making it slices and going for publication and let's say you have done it but one of that same slice you have gone for second times publication then it comes up duplicate publication salami as well as duplicate publication so that has to be avoided and moreover what we can say is there are you know certain um, instances you can say where data from you know large clin clinical you know trial or let's say epidemiological studies cannot be published so that also to be uh, taken into consideration in few of the cases where you know there is a need or uh, might be uh, few overlapping might be possible or same data set might be you know people they use but with same data set same set of result or similar set of result won't you know uh, add any value to it so that we have to take into consideration moreover uh, when we talk about this and we talk about simultaneous you know uh, way of publication so simultaneously uh, or such that they you know address different uh, let's say uh, questions 
with multiple and unrelated endpoints in this cases it is legitimate to describe the importance outcome of the studies separately so there are possibility that you can break it off uh, you know the data or you can come up with slices but where it has to address you know different question or you know let's say some different application uh, and there there is a need to do that so if, if that is there then you can do slime slicing but oh, in that case we, we will not be calling it slime slicing it will be kind of independent um, study but a part of a you know um, uh, study so however each paper should clearly define when we are doing that uh, its hypothesis and be presented as one section of a much larger study so that you have to take into consideration most journal request the author author that author should either know or you know suspect a manuscript submitted for publication represent the fragmented data so disclose this information as well as any other you know paper or similar paper that you have already published those sort of thing you also need to give to the publisher or to the editor while you have communicated your you know uh, article so if you have done that then um, uh, you may not fall under unethical practice and editor will take um, appropriate decision before you know uh, going it for reviewing or assigning the reviewer so here uh, let's uh, summarize it so kind of uh, when we're talking about this so this is salami slicing like breaking off or segmenting data from a single study and creating different manuscript for the publication normally we say salami slicing or publication and when we're talking about uh, what exactly it is it is kind of publishing small slices of research in different paper which is called as salami slicing or salami publication so this this is there and whether is it unethical or not that question also will come so yes it is unethical and the salami slicing can result in distortion of the literature by leading unsuspecting readers or you know believing that the data presented in each slice derived from the different subject of the same sample kind of thing and so that 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 is unethical practice and what should uh, and what should um, uh, you do to avoid that you know avoid inappropriately breaking of data from a single study into two or more paper that to be avoided and when submitting a paper be transparent send copies of any manuscript closely related to the manuscript under consideration and this include any manuscript published recently submitted or you know already accepted so all those you can enclose in that process so as that you know editor will take a appropriate decision whether it is a kind of uh, salami slicing or not and uh, if it is not then they will you know proceed for further kind of reviewing and other sort of thing these are the references that have uh, that being used here so thank you for watching this video and please do like and comment and subscribe to this channel thank you again thank you